everyone, this is Dosa 6. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Now, this video, as you can see by the title, is basically going to be uh, do it yourself, make your own cream and also your own oil. And I'm just going to be getting into a little bit more detail about that in a moment. The ingredients that are going to be used for this particular DIY project are all, it's all good stuff as usual. It's all natural, it's good for you, it's good for your skin. And I'm going to be getting into more details to let you know what each ingredient is good for. Honey butter consists primarily of vitamin A and also fatty acids. Those fatty acids and vitamins is essential for the improvement of skin conditions such as eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, wrinkles and blemishes. Shea butter is extremely nourishing for your skin. Furthermore, shea butter has properties to treat skin allergies such as frostbite, sunburn, insect bites, and other conditions. It's also been known to promote the healing of wounds quicker as well. It has the ability of acting as an anti-free radical agent, meaning that it helps to prevent the negative effects of the sun and environmental exposure. So vitamin A coupled with vitamin E and all of the fatty acids that shea butter contains is an awesome product for your skin. It's not only nourishing and moisturizing, but it's, it has a ton of other benefits as well. Now the other primary ingredient in my green tea infused shea butter is obviously green tea. Now green tea has a slew of benefits as well, I'm sure that you're familiar with. Green tea is loaded with antioxidants called polyphenols. Um, polyphenols help to block the development of skin cancer cells. It also contains catechins, okay, which help to fight damage caused by free radicals. Now topically, green tea can soothe irritated skin as well as many other benefits. I personally drink one to two 16 ounce cups of green tea every single day. I started out doing it for the health of my skin, which has improved greatly due to the fact that I consume green tea, but I've also done it for my health as well and because of all the wonderful antioxidants that green tea has. Now, those benefits are also wonderful when it comes to using green tea topically, which is why I'm going to be showing you how to infuse the green tea into the shea butter. And doing my research, I just wanna say that because green tea has so many benefits, just like shea butter, there's only but so much I can tell you throughout this video or else the video is going to end up being like 30 or 40 minutes long. But I do wanna say that in gathering my research to find out the many benefits of green tea, I came across an article um, by this one particular site that I was gonna mention, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to mention it because I don't want to seem like I'm trashing any one site in particular. But this one site happens to put out a bunch of how-to like articles. This one site had indicated the benefits of green tea and how you should add green tea to your skincare cleanser like Nakazima or Clearasil. I mean, the benefits of green tea versus all the chemicals that are in Clearasil and Nazima? Really? Really? Okay, so enough talking. I am going to get right to showing you all how to make this wonderful green tea infused shea butter. You're going to want to use this on your body. You can use it on your face. You can use it all over yourself. I mean, this stuff, this stuff feels good. It's whipped shea butter, so it feels like whipped cream in your hands. You can have your loved one just rub you down. Mm. Olive oil. I spoke of the benefits of olive oil in my previous video about the honey olive oil face wash. That's a good video. You might want to check that out. I no longer use any soap on. Uh, I never. I haven't used soap on my face in years. I shouldn't say that. But topical cleansers and cleansers that you find in the store. <sighs> Sorry, I digress. Now, olive oil. I spoke about the benefits, and I won't go into a lot of detail because I don't want to bore you, and I don't want to be redundant as far as what I spoke about previously. 
But olive oil was discovered over 5,000 years ago. Okay, it's extracted from the crop of the olive tree and has been used as a cosmetic in Egypt for many, 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 many years. Now, olive oil has a ton of benefits. When you cook with it and when you consume it, it is absolutely awesome for your health. However, this particular video is about the benefits of what olive oil can do for your skin. Okay, so here's a question for my YouTube audience, and I'd like for you to be completely honest. Who uses baby oil? But I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was an avid user of baby oil several years ago. Now, probably about three to four years ago, I did a video on eliminating baby oil from your skincare regimen altogether. Now, this is solely for the benefits of not only your skin, but your health. That's some garden stuff, okay? Don't believe me? Okay, Dr. Ah says that petroleum jelly is a byproduct of oil drilling, and when you spread it on your lips, you end up eating it, which is essentially the same as drinking gasoline. Add up the amount of lip gloss versus, I'm sorry, add up the amount of lip gloss the average woman uses and consumes over a decade, and it equals seven pounds. The European Union has banned many petroleum jelly products, and experts are concerned they could be linked to cancer. Women who have breast cancer have twice the levels of hydrocarbons, that's the substances that are found in petroleum jelly, in their breasts than women who haven't had breast cancer. Steer clear of any products that list petroleum jelly or mineral oil on the ingredient list. Now, while this may be primarily discussing Vaseline, petroleum jelly, um, it's also a discussion about baby oil because baby oil is also a product from Vaseline and from petroleum jelly. It's mineral oil. I will not get into all of the negatives that baby oil carries. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay focused. Would you consider my DIY recipe for olive oil with essential oils? And also vitamin E as an option. You don't have to have vitamin E in it. It's just something that's added to kind of boost up the particular, um, this particular skincare product. So olive oil is loaded with skincare benefits. You already know the benefits. Um, as the DIY, as this particular video is playing, and I'm showing you how to make this particular product, I will list some of the benefits in it.